To master this gift, first you must master yourself. Ooh, what oh chaps, I'm Magical Mike, and I'm going to talk about the gift of mastery, which is considered by some people to be the most tedious and time-consuming gift of the lot. I'm here to say that these people are wrong, and this is good news. So rejoice, fellows, this is a good chance to actually accumulate some bank, and not feel like it's a giant grind. First off, you'll need 250 obsidian shards. If you watched my other video, then you know exactly where to get these already. And if you didn't, then go and watch it. Jeez. The next three items sort of go together a little bit. The gift of exploration is gained by... Exploring, obviously. The entire world. Yep, and that means hitting all those hearts, vistas, skill points, waypoints, and points of interest in every single map. Luckily, you get XP, money, karma, and all sorts of goodies while you're getting all of this done, and it gives you a chance to go and see parts of the world that you might not have already been to before. Also, don't forget about that single point of interest in the Chantry of Secrets. A lot of people do, and it's usually their last one. But don't tell anyone I told you about that. It's a secret. As you're moving around each map, take the time to seriously gather everything you might need for your crafting disciplines. For me, that's all the metals and all the jewels I can possibly get. Try not to rush through it, because you'll probably need the fine crafting materials from enemies in the mid-level areas too. I find that the mid-level areas especially are one of the problem areas when I'm leveling a craft. Each map yields some more crafting materials, some silver, and a couple of items as a reward for finishing them. Be sure to check the sigils and the runes aren't worth salvaging before you sell everything though. You can often make a bit more money by salvaging the rune and selling the ectos and the runes separately. Map completion also includes the world versus world maps. That's all three borderlands and the eternal battlegrounds. I feel really sorry for those that are not in a competitive server, and the only advice I can offer is to try and find a community forum, and try and rally your server there to take certain spots that you're missing. Stone Mist Castle can be something you'll be waiting for for quite a while, so be sure to have some patience. For finishing these maps, you'll get badges of jump honor. No, hold on, I was right to call them badges of jumping. I did a video on the Eternal Battlegrounds jumping puzzle before, and by repeating this and the Borderlands jumping puzzles every day, you'll net yourself a good chunk of the 500 badges you'll need for the gift of battle. The gift of jumping. This thing. You could also actually do some world versus world PvP, and I would recommend it if you're interested. My Hammer Warrior is so satisfying to Zerg dive with. BOOM EARTHSHAKER! The drop rate on badges has been vastly improved from launch, but don't expect to be done very quickly with it. I've heard different stories, some people are done quite quickly, and I think this is mostly just based on luck. Luck of the draw and what drops you're getting. But hey, I'd just spread this one out over time so that you can break up the grindy bits of the legendary stuff with some fun PvP. And finally, for the Bloodstone Shard, you need 200 skill points, which shouldn't be a problem with all the previous stuff going on your dailies, your dungeon runs you might be doing, you should have plenty of skill points to spare. Just go and talk to Miani next to the Forge in Lion's Arch and buy that thing right up. It's a bargain. Compared to some stuff, anyway. So here's an update on what I've now covered, and thanks for watching. <laughs>